Good morning and uh, welcome to another unboxing with Cool Smartphone. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing something I've been waiting to get my hands on for quite a while. It is the Asus ROG Phone 2. Um, this is the ultra premium gaming phone uh, from Asus and we're going to dive in and have a look at it and see what we think. Cheers. So without further ado, let's dive in. Now the box opens in a little bit of a weird manner, but before we get into that, I just want to have a quick look at the bottom, at the specs. So we can see here that we've got a 6.9 Full HD Plus display. Um, this one's going to be coming with the bumper and the fan, more on that later. We've got a Snapdragon 855 Plus um, and 24 um, slash 48 megapixel rear camera and a 13 megapixel front facing camera. But the all important spec that everyone wants to know about is the memory. We've got 512 gigabytes of storage and 12 gigabytes of RAM here. This makes this the most highly spec phone that I have ever unboxed. So to unbox it, we just slide it out like so. This, by the way, this is um, special packaging for the Ultimate Edition and also the Strix Edition of the phone. If you get the standard edition, which is the 128 gig storage and the 8 gigabyte RAM, then uh, it comes in just a standard rectangular box. So first and foremost, we've got an accessories bundle there. This is our um, fan, also known as Active Cooler 2. And then we've got the phone on that side. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the accessories first pop that all off to one side. So again, trapezoid, trapezoid shape. And in here we have a pin for ejecting the SIM, instruction manuals, and some warranty information and stickers. Um, this is a dual IMEI phone, so it's a dual SIM phone. Uh, so we've got two IMEIs. Now they haven't actually put the IMEIs on the phone, they've stuck them in two labels that are in the box. This is our bumper case. Quite a groovy sort of styling there with uh, loads of uh, ASUS graphics and the ROG symbol in there. Quite nice. A nice solid feeling. Fairly heavy duty braided USB type C cable. That's always nice to see. But remember, we are talking about a phone that is around about for the Ultimate Edition, which is the one we have here. We're talking uh, around about eight, 800, 700 to 800 pounds. I have seen it a little bit cheaper, but still nice to see that. And then given this is a, a worldwide edition phone, we have a European style adapter. Again, with the ROG logo there, USB Type C, and um, this is very, very difficult to see, but and you probably can't see it, but it is capable of, I think it's 3 amp, uh, 30 watt charging. There we go. Yeah, so 3 amp max, 30 watt output charging, um, which is pretty good to be fair, should charge the phone up quite nice. In this little ducket here, we've got some other bits and pieces. So these are uh, little rubber stand bits that can attach onto the bottom of the fan, more on that later. There's a wee picture on how to do that. These bits are uh, to go in the side of the phone, which I'll show you later, and there's another stand bit. So it's nice that they're included as well. Uh, if you were to lose them and losing them is something that is distinctly possible so we'll just pop all this off to the side for now because there's still a lot of other stuff to look at so let's have a look at that fan next so this is your active cooler now you'll see that it's got a 3.5mm headphone jack and a USB Type-C on the base there. 
and then it's got this funky looking dock here which is actually comprised of two USB type C connectors and it slides up and slides down and you can see the actual fan blades in there this is also an LED as well now we'll get the phone out tricky to do there we go. so there's the phone there it is vast um, it is a 6.59 inch panel um, which is full HD plus um, it is I believe a LCD display although I will have to double check that um, it might be AMOLED this uh, but more importantly, it has up to a 120 gigahertz refresh cycle, which is really, really important for gaming. We've got dual speakers, one at the front, one at the top, and these are Dolby Atmos powered as well. You've got a selfie camera up at the front, which is a 13 megapixel selfie camera. On the left hand side, it's totally bare, apart from this little rubber thing here and your sim card slot so if we actually uh, pull that little rubber out you will see in there that we have a USB-C connector and a proprietary connector okay and that will become clear as to why that's there in a moment put that little rubber bit down there on the base we again have a three and a half mil headphone jack. Try and get that into focus. And a USB type C. On the other side, we've got microphone, power button, volume rocker. And then you've got these really groovy things here. These are um, what they call uh, haptic triggers or air triggers it's air triggers sorry um, and these are touch sensitive um, for use in gaming and there's one on either side on the back we've got our 48 megapixel quad bear camera um, and there's also a 28 a 24 megapixel uh, wide angle lens in there as well you've got what looks to be two led flashes However, only one of these is the LED flash. The other light is actually used with a third party accessory. Sorry, a first party accessory, which is a case that will actually illuminate depending on which one of these is chosen. Uh, you've got your ROG aerodynamic system there. Now this area here, this is all the fan. Um, and more on that later. And then your Republic of Gamers branding and logo there. You'll see that in the light, the little lines change colour, which is a really, really nice touch. Um, so that is an overview of the phone itself. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fire the phone up. Now, I have actually taken the time to set this phone up, so this is not the first boot. But it has got quite a cool boot up animation. Although I may have turned the sound off. So you can see your DTS X. So it's not Dolby Atmos, it's DTS X that they use. Um, I have to say, the sound quality of this is really impressive. So there we go, that's us all booted up. Now, one thing I do want to show you is the lighting effect. I'm going to go through the phone in the full review in more detail. But we do have a full fingerprint reader on the front here, uh, which I'll just open for you. So, because it was first boot, I had to put my code in. Fingerprint reader is fairly good there, to be honest. Um, very, very clean UI. Very Android 9, uh, like pure Android or pixel-esque interface uh, we've got the armory crate down the bottom here which I'll just tap and this takes us into the gaming area 
Now the reason I want to do in here is I want to show you the lighting effects. So if I quickly just jump around and put system lighting on, and then go to aura lighting, and we will put some lighting effects on now. So I've turned on lighting when the screen is off. So if we now turn this around, you can see there that the light is now flashing. That's because my screen is off and that acts as a breathing light. Now, if I go and clip the fan accessory in, you can see we now have a spinning fan. And this side is actually cooler. You can just about hear it. It's not the loudest thing in the world, but you can hear it. Now, if I put my light, my screen off again, you'll see my lights now come through on that light symbol and the fan has stopped. That's a really nice cool touch and you also get it on the front as well. So if I unlock and I actually go into a game, so let's just make sure that's all behaving itself and we go into a game. No, it's just telling me about the air triggers and whatnot. You can see that's a gorgeous screen for playing games on. No notch or anything to worry about. Now, to be fair, I've, I've not actually set any of these up yet. So. So this is a really, really cool experience. My hand has been cooled by that fan on the back. The audio is just fantastic. And that screen is crystal clear. This is what this game, this game was made for this phone. So if I go to resume, it's just going through a little demo now. So this is just Asphalt 8 as we, we've seen hundreds and hundreds of times before. I'm just as terrible at it as I've always been. pretty good gaming experience from what I can tell so far obviously that's just an initial first run of a game so um, that's
just a, a little bit of an insight into the Asus ROG Phone 2. Um, there will be more to come. I'm going to be doing a full review on this. Um, and also I've got some other really cool stuff to show you. So I'm going to unbox this in a separate video. But we've also got this, the gaming pad. This effectively will turn this into a fully featured gaming handheld console. So that's it for this section. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you've got any questions or you want anything looked at in the review, then please feel free to leave a comment um, in the comments down there. Also, give us a, a subscribe and a like if you've liked this video. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks very much. Cheers.